Okay, so here's another quick video tip and I'm gonna teach you how to create gold coins fast. So let's just get down to it and let's start. So press L again to open the ellipse tool. And then as you draw the ellipse, press shift so that it's constrained like so. And then we're just gonna choose a simple base color. We're gonna remove the stroke and then we're gonna copy it again, control C and then paste it in front, control F. So we actually have two ellipse right now. And then we're just gonna drag right here and press Shift and Alt so that we can scale it from the center and also constrain. And you can see it, if I release Shift, it's actually not constrained. So it's really hard to match the same proportions. So just press Shift again as you hold Alt. And then we're just gonna size it down a bit right here. And then press Shift S to turn this into screen mode. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate this circle right here. So just press Alt and then drag it down. So don't release it yet. And then press Shift. So as you can see, the movement is controlled horizontally or vertically. As you can see, it snaps right here. And then move it a bit down. Okay. And then we're gonna copy both again. Press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl F. And then we're just gonna remove this part right here so that we actually have a highlight right here. So press Shift M and then press Alt and we're gonna remove this part completely. Like so and then remove this one again. So as you can see we've actually created the shape and you can move it up and then press Shift D to turn it into multiply and then select it again and press Alt to duplicate the shape. Again, press Shift to constrain the movement. Like so. And then we're just gonna flip it horizontally. So in my case, I have Control R to access my Reflect tool. Or if you don't have that, you can go to Object, Transform, and Reflect. So that was actually a really long way. So I suggest creating your own shortcut for the Reflect tool. And then select the horizontal option and then press OK. So we will put it right here. But this time we're going to turn it into screen mode. So press Shift S. And then for this one, we can actually lessen the opacity and turn it into 70, I guess, or 60 or whatever works for you. And as you can see, it's actually too much. So we're just going to trim it again. Move it a little bit down. And then press the base circle right here. Use the shape builder tool and then remove it. And also we can do the same at the bottom. So just move it a bit so that it intersects with the base shape. Or you can press Ctrl Y to see everything in wireframe mode. So this is a new tool right here. And then you can just press Ctrl Y again to see the colored version. Okay, so Select this one again and the base color shape. Use the shape builder tool, shift M, and then just remove this excess part. Okay, so it's actually looking better now. And then we're just gonna add the highlights for the gold coin. So we're just gonna create this shape right here. You can actually create your own shape too. I just prefer adding a slight curve to the highlight. And we're just gonna remove this part later, so don't worry about this area right here. As you can see, I'm just drawing it right here. Bend it again. Like so, and then we're just gonna close the shape. And then we're just gonna press Shift S. Okay, now we're just gonna remove this excess right here. We can do that by duplicating this base shape right here. So press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. To duplicate it and as you can see we have two shapes select the highlight or the shine of the coin press shift M again and then remove the excess part so we're gonna do the same for the area right here so that we can remove them so select this one and then copy it and then paste in front again and to lessen your confusion you can press D so that it actually turns back to the default style as you can see right here. And then we're just gonna select the highlight now. 
and then use the shape builder tool again to completely remove this part so there's actually the shine or the highlight for the coin okay so we can actually add a stroke to the coin and we can increase the size and also darken it a bit and if this ever happens to you you can actually just go to the stroke and then choose the align stroke to align stroke to outside so that you can have this profile for the edge so there's actually three profiles for a shape stroke so the first one is align stroke to center which is the default one right here and we actually don't want this at the moment because we want it to be outside and the second one is inside right here and the third one and which we want also is the align stroke to outside okay so looking good Okay, so now we can actually add another design for the middle part right here. So I'll just create a simple star. We can actually sample from the base color right here and remove the stroke. And then we can just detail it right here. So I'm just going to use the pen tool right here. Like so, so I'm just creating the darkest part of the shape. So I can just press Ctrl A and select them all. Turn this one to multiply. And then I can add the highlight right here. And then remove it with the shape builder tool okay so there's our simple coin you can actually add more shading so we're just gonna continue on that but we can actually make this really subtle again this is just another addition and you actually don't have to do this but it actually can add more detail to your design so lessen the opacity again just select them and then use the shape builder tool to remove the excess part and then we can do the same for the top part but this time we're gonna press shift s to turn it into screen mode and then we're just going to lower the opacity, select them again and the coin, and then use the shape builder tool to remove the excess part. So maybe 10% will work, or 20. So there's your coin right there. Now, the best thing about this is that we've actually created the shapes out of blend modes. If we select this one, group them, and then press Alt and drag out to duplicate them, we can actually go to the swatches palette right here and then just choose another color and it will update the color for the gold coin so we have right here so we can actually turn this into a silver coin you see and we've actually edited the color for the fill so we have to go directly inside and change the stroke of the shape right here from brown to a dark gray stroke see it was really easy to create it and and I hope that you've learned in this new lecture and that you can apply the same workflows we did on other similar game assets.